Shall your brothers go to war and you sit your behind here? That's what Moses is saying. You got to correlate that with many of us today. You got some brothers in the war, in this fight, and other brothers just sitting back. He's even brought his pockets out here to try to get you to understand to start doing his laws, statutes, and commands. Where are they? Who are they? Because this world is given to them. All because of what we didn't do. First name, Ephraim, the one of them down to it, I guarantee that she's the people over here. You are the children of Israel. That's right. I told the truth. If we keep breaking God's law, that's going to be our wounds. That's going to be our destruction. Social injustice, economic justice. We don't care about pleasing the Most High God. We hate God. That's the final issue. You see, look what's happening right now. The Word of God is being read, and the men that say they teach the Word of God says, "Everyone go home. Everyone get out of here. Everyone don't listen to that." Right. That's the same. The Jews did to Christ. They said, Go! Get away from him! You know why? Because they were scared that their money was going to start dwindling. Go to Acts chapter 7, verse 48. Because the problem is, you don't love God. You so called black man. If you love God, you would teach your people to keep the commandments. If you love God, then you would be keeping the commandments. But Christ called you hypocrites. And the map. Matthew in the 23rd chapter, read that Acts chapter 7. Read Acts chapter 7, verse 48. How be it, the Most High dwelt not in temples made with hand. The Most High God don't dwell in temples made by men. Where does he dwell? He dwells in the hearts of men. Now, what does God know about the hearts of men? Give me that real quick in Jeremiah. See, this is the problem. We laugh and we scoff. Matter of fact, drop that. Give me Proverbs 1. For the scoffing man, for the man that thinks everything is funny and it's a game. God is coming to judge this earth. You have made God's house the temple of thieves. Read. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom craft without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of conquerors. So, wisdom's crying without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She's crying in the chief place of conquerors. You're conquerors right now. Everyone's gathered together for this day. We. She uttered her voice in the... She uttered... She cried in the chief place of conquerors. In the openings of the gates. In the city. She uttered her, her voice. That's what's going on right now in the city. Wisdom is uttering her words. Read. How long, ye simple ones? Wisdom is crying out to you, asking, How long, ye simple ones? Read. Will you love simplicity? Will you love simplicity? Shucking and jiving, dancing across money, hipping and hollering, marching. How long do you love the simplicity? If you didn't know simplicity means stupidity. Read. And the scorners delight in their scorner. See that? And the scorners, they delight in the scorning of the prophets of the Most High God. Same thing that happened to Jeremiah. Same thing that happened to Isaiah. Same thing that happened to Zechariah. Same thing that happened to Paul. Same thing that happened to Matthew, John, and Mark. You scoff against the prophets of God because you're more concerned with your monies. Let's send an offering. Let's send an offering. Let's give the kids devil worship food. Let's send the kids. Are you teaching the children what really Halloween means? Are you teaching the children the love of God? Matter of fact, if you love God, if you have a personal relationship with God, what's his favorite colors? You can't have a relationship with someone if you don't know what they love. What does God love of you, black man, white man? Excuse me, black man, so-called native man, Latino man? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 12. What does God want of you? Because the problem is you go here, you go to church, and you talk about what God loves and this and that, but you're not teaching the people. We, you got a woman walking around looking like hers. Telling them it's okay. You allow the men to be gay. Telling them it's okay. It's not okay according to the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. 
And now Israel was that the Lord that God required of thee. So the most high God has a question. What does the Lord God require of thee? We but to fear the Lord thy God. But to do what? But to fear the Lord thy God. But to fear the Lord thy God. How do you fear the Lord thy God? Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways and what? And to love him. That's how you love God. By walking in all his ways. What are some of his ways? Give me that in Deuteronomy 22. What are some of God's ways? Now, give me Leviticus 21. What are some of God's ways? Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. And they shall not make boldness upon their head. Most God, high God said, you should not make boldness upon your head. That's some of his ways, really. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall you be shaving off the corners of your beard. Marring your beard. Neither should you be chopping off your original line of your beard. These are some of God's ways. So how can you sit up here and say, you love God? We nor make any cuttings in their flesh, nor any tattoos, but we make this all okay. It's always okay to do these things. Go uh, to, uh, go, um, what did I want? Go to Mark real quick. It's always okay to do these things. 721. It's always okay to do these things. But this is what God says. You guys don't know the love of God. Read. Mark chapter 7 verse 21. From within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Because within, out of your hearts, you have evil thoughts. Your mind is fixed on evil. Read. Adulteries. Fornications. This is what's going on in the churches. And you elders at the church always let it go by. No one gets disciplined for these things. Read. Murders. Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceitful lasciviousness, and evil eye. That's why it's always reports coming out about you pastors leading the blind astray. That's the problem with this. Go to uh, to uh, 23, Matthew 23. What does Christ call you? Bring it out. Read. Yep, start right there. Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Woe unto you, hypocrites! That's what Christ calls you. We, for you pay tithe of men and anise and cumin, and do what we really give? For you pay tithe of men and anise and cumin. And have omitted the weightier matters of the law. You have omitted the weightier matters of the law. We. Judgment, judgment. You don't judge your people. You tell them, come as you are and stay as you are. It's okay to be that way. God loves you anyway. That is a lie. We, mercy and faith. These ought to, these ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. You not to leave the other undone. We, we, ye blind guides. Which strain at a nut. You do what? You are blind guides, the Bible says. The Bible says you are blind guides. We which strain at a nut. And a swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. The most high God said destruction unto you, scribes and Pharisees. You false leaders. You leaders that. Tell the people, don't listen to the Bible. We're telling you all that you need to know right here in this church. Don't listen to what the Bible says. These men are out here. They're the ones that are the devil. All we're doing is reading the Bible. But you want to tell your people that's coming in giving you tithes for no reason. Hey, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. Run away. You want to make the people scared of the prophets of the Most High God. Read. Where are to you, scribes and Pharisees? Hypocrites! What did Christ call them? Hypocrites! Hypocrites! Read. For ye may clean the outside of the cup. You may clean the outside of the cup. You may dress up and look good. Act like you're doing something good with your clapping and shucking and driving. All doing your services. Giving the kids Halloween candy. Read. And of the player. But within, they are full of. But within, they are full of what? Read. Full of extortion and excess. Full of extortion. Right. Oh. Blind Pharisees, cleanse first that which thou 
within the cup and platter. So you blind Pharisees, you blind guides, you false teachers, you must clean the inside of you. You must realize what God wants of you and start doing that. Keep his commandments, Ray. That the outside of them may be clean also. May be clean also. That's the only way you're going to have good deeds. Read. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like uh, for ye are like unto white sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward. So you appear beautiful outward, we but are within full of dead men's bones. But within you're full of dead men's bones. What is Christ talking about? Guess what? It repeats, it talks about it in Timothy. Hold that, go get me, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Start at verse 7. What is the most, what is Christ talking about? Read. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 7. Chapter 3 and verse 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. You're ever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Read. Verse 8. Now as Janus and Jambres, which started at verse 5. Verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. What did it just say? It says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of. What's that power that you're denying? You're denying the power of keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. You're denying the power of the Most High God. You have a form of godliness. You look good on the outside, but within is still evilness. Read. Now, what the Bible says, it says, having a form of godliness, read that again, verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. The most high God said, from such turn away. Turn away from these type of men. Come out of these churches. Turn away from these men. They have a form of godliness, but they're not teaching you what God says to do. Really? Verse 6. For this sort are they will which creep into houses and lead captive silly women. Because they creep into houses and lead captive silly women. Really? Laden with sin, laden with sin, right? Led away with diverse lust, with diverse lust. That's why you always have all this uh, hungry going on within the churches. You always have, oh, the preacher did this to my daughter. Oh, the preacher did that to my daughter. Oh, the preacher had sex with my wife. The deacon did that. My wife cheated on me with the pastor. You have all this diverse sorts of lust going on, right? Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Never come to the knowledge of truth. Read on. Now as Janice and Jeremy, in fact, drop down in verse 10. Verse 10. But thou, in fact, drop down to verse 9. Verse 9. But they shall proceed no further. But you will proceed no further. Read. For their folly shall be manifest unto all men. Because right now your folly is being manifest to all men. No matter how much you want to shoo them away, the word would not go out void. Read. As theirs also was. Verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. Men are alive. Purpose. Faith. Long-suffering. Charity. Patience. Persecution. That's what we're dealing with right now. Persecutions. They want to persecute us for coming out, speaking the truth of the matter. Giving you the true gospel. The real good news. That you are the holy people on this earth. You are separate. You are separate from the rest of this earth. Read. Afflictions which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured. But out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yay! And all that will live godly in Christ. So, yeah, all that you that will live godly in Christ, read. In Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. And that's what's going on today. Evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse. Every single day we get worse. That's why we're getting killed on the streets because we keep walking further and further away from the most high God. That's why we have no justice because we keep walking further and further away from God. Read. 
deceiving and being deceived. You deceive the members of the church. You tell them, we're giving out offerings for this, but it never gets fixed. The AC needs fixing, but next year it's still broke. You deceive the members. You deceive and you're being deceived. Thinking that all will be saved. Thinking that we're equal. Thinking that there's some sort of equality on this earth. Read. But continue though in the things which has learned and has been assured of. They want to fly over there. They want to fly over there in that SUV. I see them listening. They understand. Something's hearkening to them. Read. Knowing of him of whom thou has learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. Go give them a flyer. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith. Because if you know these scriptures, it's going to make you wise unto what? Wise unto what? Salvation. Go make you wise unto salvation. That's what we're out here teaching. How to become wise in salvation. Now, how do you do that? Go back to Deuteronomy. Let's find out how you become wise in salvation. Give me four and six. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. And understand your said, keep therefore and do them. This is your wisdom. What is that? Go up to verse 5. Verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me. So I've taught you statues and judgments. You must know the Most High God's statues. You must know his judgments. You must keep the commandments of the Most High God. Read. That ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Because that's what we need to be doing. The only way to rule this earth, the only way to have any type of betterness in this economy is to keep the laws of God. Read. Verse 6, keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. This is what makes you wise. This is your wisdom. Read. And your knowledge in the sight of the nations. This is your knowledge in the sight of the rest of the nations. Because God has only spoke to the Israelites. Read. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them? So, again, you must keep the laws of God to have wisdom. You must keep the laws of God to show your wisdom. That is what makes you wise. Go to Deuteronomy 28. But what has happened? What has happened? Just give me 15. What has happened? We became unwise. We became fools by turning away from the Most High God. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now we live the curses today because we decided not to do the most high God. Go to Isaiah chapter 5 verse 15. We decided not to do what the most high God had us to do. So now we're stuck in the curses. Read. Oh, Hosea, Hosea 5.15. Read. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. So God has returned to his place. He turned his back on us until we acknowledge our offense. That's why we come out into the streets, into the city, into the chief places of concourse to uh, allow the Israelites a chance to acknowledge their offense. They must realize their iniquities to God. They must realize their transgressions to God. Read and seek my face. How do you seek his face? Go to Joshua 1 and 8. Let's see how you seek the most high God's face. Because you know you need to know what you've done. Just like if you had a child and they've done something. They said, sorry dad. You're going to ask that child, sorry for what? What have you committed against me to make you sorry? Read. Joshua chapter Start at 7. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. So we must observe to do, to do, to do, to do. 
according to all the law. We must be strong and courageous to do this. Read. Which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. We can't go to the right or to the left. It said turn not from it. This is not old times. This is forever. Turn not to, from it to the right or to the left. Read. That thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest. This is, that's how you prosper. That's how you prosper. Read. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That's how you seek the most high God. You must meditate on his book day and night. This word shall always be in your mouth. It shall never depart. Read. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then... Thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then you will become prosperous. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.